morning. Uh, it's Tuesday morning and we're still up in uh, <coughs> Glen Nevis and today I'm going to do Stobban uh, <laughs> which uh, I had planned on doing yesterday but uh, obviously took a wrong turn took the wrong path and um, yeah ended up doing the ringer still which actually didn't turn out too bad uh, did it in just under eight and a half hours and uh, Although today was supposed to be a better day, uh, it was claggy in the morning, but um, we did actually get the views in the afternoon, so uh, it turned out to be a really nice day. So it actually works out better for me because I'll get the walk finished quicker, which means I can get back to the van earlier and then start driving home so I can get, get a bit further home tonight and then do the rest in the morning, uh, tomorrow morning. So uh, yeah, if I'd done the ring of steel today, I wouldn't have been finished finish until later on which meant I wouldn't wouldn't have left until later. There's some low level cloud there. So there might be a bit of an inversion if we get up high enough to uh, to see it. Uh, the sky is clearing nicely so uh, yeah we should hopefully get some views earlier on. So uh, right Let's get on, make sure I take the right path this time as well, and uh, I'll come back to you later on. Alright, cheers. What a view this is. This is the low level uh, cloud inversion there. Sun just starting to come up. Wow. Beautiful. Right. Get going. Right, so just just down there was where the uh, where the path split, and I obviously ended up going. I ended up going up there yesterday when I should have come along here. I don't know how I sort of missed it because I realised I I knew I had to come along the uh, along the glen here. But uh, yeah, it's one of those things, and it didn't turn out too bad. So uh, there we go. But uh, yeah, we're going the right way today, which is good. So. Uh, Let's get going and I'll come back to you in a bit. All right, cheers. So there's our target in front of us, up there, stop Ben. Uh, can't see where the path goes, but we obviously just head up here and then start making our way up somewhere. So, uh, yep, a bit of sun just starting to glisten off the top there. Uh, still got the cloud inversion down in, the, down in the glen. Yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful day today. So, um, yeah. Chilly this morning. Uh, Van was saying it was uh, minus two. There was a uh, frost on the windscreen, and uh, I was on a campsite last night, and I was scraping off the uh, scraping off the frost with a scraper, and it just because it's so quiet, the scraper just sounded so loud, and <laughs> like nobody else is up and about. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's quite funny. So, uh, right, let's get going. I've had to delayer already. It's uh, but, warming up so uh, yeah so uh, yep yeah, let's get going I'll come back to you in a bit you've got some cracking waterfalls walking up this path this is about the third or fourth one uh, yeah. getting up into the glen now a bit more of the sunshine on the peaks up there so uh, yeah we're just heading up heading up here so uh, come back to you in a bit sunshine it's glorious absolutely glorious look at that behind me and uh, there's a view down into the glen where we just come 
clouds still hanging around a bit down there. But uh, there's our target, Stob Ban. So, uh, it's a bit of a steep climb for some reason. I thought this might be an easier one, but I should know by now there's not really any easy Munros. So, uh, yeah, let's get going and I'll come back to you on the top. Okay, cheers. So this is me at the top of Stob Ban, uh, 999 metres. Um, yeah, it's absolutely glorious up here. Um, great views all around. A uh, little bit of breeze, but not too bad. Uh, yeah, look at this. Beautiful. That's the uh, ring of steel over there that I did yesterday, unintentionally. <laughs> so uh, our next target is over there. So um, yeah, looks like quite a straightforward one that one. A uh, little bit of a drop down, but uh, looks a very gradual walk round to it. So uh, yeah, so uh, you got the uh, lock over there. Uh, I don't know what lock that is. Where are we? Um, that's probably that, that'd be uh, that'd be Fort William Way over there, I reckon. So that'd be the uh, the lock by Fort William or the sea, even I'm not. What you see? Not too sure, but uh, I'm waffling now, so uh, ignore this. I'll cut it out. So, but yeah, look at this. What a view! Amazing, absolutely amazing. Right, so uh, just going to crack on to the next one. Um, don't feel too bad at the moment, so uh, yeah, just crack on to the next one. I'll come back to you in a bit. Okay, cheers. So this is Muluk Nankaryan, Karan, uh, 939 meters. So um, number 10, number 10 of the uh, of the trip. This is all this is all 10 Mamors Munros completed now, which was uh, which was the aim when I set off from uh, Essex on Friday was to try and do these 10, just base myself in this area, not drive around too much, and um, yeah, try and get these done. And thankfully I have. So. Uh, Yep, so uh, yeah, just gonna make my way down now to the van. Um, probably, I don't know, hour, hour and a half down to the van. We're on its uh, only four hours and 26 minutes at the moment. Um, did stop and fly the drone for a little bit earlier on, which buffed about and yeah, filming the photos and whatnot. So uh, yeah, so going on about six hours to get down should be an hour and a half or so. So okay, I'll um, come back to you uh, down at the van. Okay, cheers. Well, this isn't the best path coming down. It's very rocky up the top here, and then there's this real boggy section here, which is quite difficult to sort of navigate round through. Uh, doesn't seem to be any way round it, to be honest. Just got to uh, try and pick the uh, spots that aren't quite so deep. Um, yeah, but, uh, we're nearly down to the trees now, and then this should just be a, a forest path down back back down to the car park again pretty much down to uh, down to the road level now so uh, shouldn't be too much longer so uh, yep come back to you in a bit 
Yep, here we go. Nice little path to walk down now. So, much better. I may have spoken too soon. <laughs> uh, so that path wasn't too bad after the uh, after that boggy bit. A um, couple of little places, but nothing nothing as bad as that bit. Um, and then we just come onto this uh, this track, which takes us back down to the road. So still got a little way to go yet, but uh, yeah. Just uh, keep walking, get back to the van. So, uh, yeah, come back to you in a bit. Okay, so that's me back at the van now. Um, just under six hours to do that. Five hours, 57 or something. So, uh, yeah, good walk, great weather. Um, nice cloud inversion going up this morning. Um, yeah, I met a couple of people going the opposite way to me. Um, I think looking at the path coming down. Um, walk up the glen is a much better much better route to take going up there and just uh, have the uh, have the horrible path um, coming down um, yeah it's not the best route down to be honest um, probably not much fun going up it either so I'd rather do it at the end of a walk rather than at the beginning so uh, yeah and you get better views this morning um, going up the glen uh, the walk up the path is quite enclosed so you don't see a lot so a lot of the way up uh, yeah, but um, yeah, it's been a great, uh, great four days. Um, worked out as planned. Uh, so now I'm, uh, there's a campsite just down the road that I stayed at last night, which I'm hoping to sneak in and get a, get a sneaky shower, and then, um, then I'll be heading home. So um, yeah, so that's it. So thanks for watching, uh, and I'll uh, catch you, uh, catch you next time. So uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Bye bye.